This is how to make liquid soap from scratch. This is a super useful skill to have if you wanna buy less from the store and make more at home and save a ton of money. This is the base recipe for a ton of things that I make here. This recipe is made with coconut and olive oil. I also have a tallow if you'd like that one as well. I'm gonna start by weighing out all of my fats and putting them in the bottom of a slow cooker or an instant pot to melt together. You might be able to do this on the stove top as well, but I've never tried, so I'm not sure. While the fats are heating up, I'm gonna weigh out the water and glycerin together in one beaker and then in a separate beaker I'm going to weigh out the potassium hydroxide. Make note that this is potassium hydroxide and not sodium hydroxide. It's important to add the potassium hydroxide to the water and not the other way around. Then with a hand mixer we're going to add our lye solution to our fat solution and mix 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 until it becomes a thick paste. This change in state is called trace and you will absolutely know it when it happens. It does take a little while for liquid soap though so just keep mixing until you see this. Then we're going to switch to a spatula and mix 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 and then we're going to keep this at about 165 to 175 for the next several hours. I'm going to mix this every one to two hours as I walk past it. You don't want to leave it for too long because it might burn. Uh, it is pretty forgiving, but make sure that you are mixing it. This is going to take all day. Then to test it, I'm going to add a little glob to a container of really hot water and mix that up. If this solution in the bottom, once it settles, is clear, then we know it is ready. If it is cloudy, you need to cook it longer. This recipe makes a few gallons, and that's just too much liquid for me to mix up at once. So I'm going to store half of this in a glass jar for later. The other half, I'm going to leave in my cooker and add a gallon of water to. I'm gonna stir this a few times before I go to bed, then I'm gonna keep this on very low overnight. And when I wake up, it's gonna be this lovely clear soap. This soap is so versatile. I use it for dish soap, hand soap. It's the shampoo base in my shampoo recipe. I dilute it by half typically and add a splash of essential oil to make it smell great. Keep in mind if you decide to add an oil to this, oils and waters separate. There's no emulsifier in this, so they will separate. So you'll just need to give it a shake before you use it just like the shampoo. I hope you guys make it and I hope you love it too.